tough tears of blowout in the pre. Set to run. Heat four of the Melbourne Cup. Green light on, ready to go. Away and racing and Tigger Long Tonk began brilliantly from four. He's going to hit the burners early and put three lengths on Immunity Gypsy Zelda. Three lengths Bobby the Brute Wallbanger as they string right out. Then Arizona Eyes zipping Albert two lengths away last Sovereign win but down the back and Tigger Long Tonk the shootout winners out and running. Five lengths to Immunity. Six away Arizona Eyes starting to power home and then Gypsy Zelda. Tigger Long Tonk turned the leader. He's two three lengths to Arizona Eyes and Immunity and Tigger Long Tonk's Going to romp into the Melbourne Cup. Tig along Tonk by a length and a half, beating Arizona Eyes, a massive run. Third immunity, a break to Gypsy Zelda, zipping Albert, then Bobby the Brute Wallbanger, and last in Sovereign Win, the run 29 17, fastest into the Melbourne Cup thus far. Jeez, he's Number. in career best form, nearly at just the right time of the year, Jason Adams. You're catching up with Corey Grenfell. Here is Corey, and look after that win last week in the shootout. That was almost very, very similar. And I'm sure once he got that room to balance up and go early, he would have been quite confident. Yeah, that, look, that's what he had to do, um, to, to jump to the front again. And, that, and that's when he does his best racing. So to do it again on the, on the big stage and to go into Melbourne Cup next week is just a huge thrill. He deserves a spot in this race, doesn't he? Because he's been so good for so long. And to pick up a big one, it's not much bigger than Melbourne Cup. Yeah, definitely. Look, it, this is a race that everyone wants to win. And, um, you know, at the start of the year, we thought this, this race is going to be when he's in his prime. So, you know, to have him fit and healthy and run the times he is now is just huge. Congratulations. Thanks, mate. Corey Grenfell, in the early part of his career, he's had Orson L, and now he's got Tig along Tonk, and he's got a runner in uh, the Tab Melbourne Cup final for next week. And he's gone the quickest of the night, 29-16. The free-for-all not far away here at Melton. Favourite here. She's have backed this pace up. For Anthony Budd, he went really well last start behind Lock and Varad, and they've backed him once again, Wolf Stride. He probably lands 1-1, one, one, or is there a chance that he might go to the front here? Sir Lettig's the horse that probably races best when he's able to take a sit. Callum Byrne's got gate speed. He's probably a big prize. I think he nearly leads here, Callum Byrne, at $18. And then Tam Major's got a tough draw to overcome. Major times at seven fifty. And Co Black's been well supported at three dollars eighty. So Tig along Tonk joins Shimmer Shine, Lucy's Milo, and Tough Tears in this year's Tab Melbourne Cup. Let's head to Damalecki for race six. This is the the free for all for the Breeders' Crown eligible paces, and this promises to be a beauty. But wow, we Wolf Stride they continue to back him now, Dan. And Jason Adams here on Sky Racing Active. Tigalong Tonk, as expected, he had that clear galloping room and away he went. He did, and as we just saw on that great head on vision where he had that room, it's what we felt was going to happen in the lead up with that lack of pressure on the on his inside. 